What's up guys, G Infinite here. Today, I'm gonna be discussing my X-Men Ultimate Collection here. Um, as you can see, these are the Build-A-Figure Sentinels. Um, I got four of them here. And I got a couple more that I have to build, but um, these are the Build-A-Figure Sentinels from Toy Biz, which are really, really cool. I'll just give you a good look there. And of course, I have to have them with my X-Men here. Of course, there you have Deadpool. That's from Epic Heroes, Deadpool. Um, you see Wolverine there from the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave. And then, of course, uh, some of my Toy Biz figures. Uh, you're looking back there at Bishop from Toy Biz. Uh, there you see Beast from Toy Biz as well, Nightcrawler. Um, that uh, Cyclops, if I'm not mistaken, is from the X-Men Classics. Um, and of course, Iceman also from X-Men Classics. And then there you have Cable from Toy Biz and a X-Men Classics from, well, X it could be a Toy Biz as well, but I know Toy Biz has one and X-Men Classics has one, uh, Storm. So that is the Storm that you're looking there. And then of course, uh, Gambit from the Toy Biz series. Um, and that Spider-Man is actually from the Sentinel Build-A-Figure Wave uh, that you're looking at done by Toy Biz. So these are just a couple of my X-Men that you're looking at there with some of my Sentinels. If we go a little bit lower down here, you'll be able to see um, a couple more of my X-Men and a couple of my Build-A-Figures. There you have the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure. And here you have Sunfire. Um, you have the uh, Wolverine there in the traditional costume. And then, of course, you have my Toy Biz Bishop. What you're looking at over here is another Toy Biz um, Beast. And also a Charles Xavier um, from Toy Biz as well. Now, uh, the, the Phoenix that you're looking at there, uh, the base that you see is from Toy Biz. From the Toy Biz Phoenix, but that Phoenix is actually from a double box set um, that comes with this Cyclops that you're looking at here. And that was done by, that was a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, and then of course you have Havoc there, Cable, and then you have the Build-A-Figure Onslaught. Now that Build-A-Figure Onslaught was actually a Build-A-Figure that came with the um, Red Skull head, but this onslaught is a really, really cool builder figure, especially um, when you get that head. Uh, that head, if I'm not mistaken, came with Kitty Pride, I believe. But like I said, I wouldn't remember. It's been a while. Um, and then, of course, you have the Archangel. And then you have the Toy Biz uh, builder figure onslaught. Um, and that onslaught is really, really cool. Um, looking a little bit further down here, you'll see a... Another onslaught. This onslaught is a custom onslaught I did, um, which is very, very cool. I gave him just more of a darker look. And then you have here some of the astonishing X-Men that you're looking at here. You have Wolverine. You have Cyclops. Uh, you have the Beast from the Nemesis Build-A-Figure Wave. And then right there you have Emma Frost. And what you're looking at here is a variant Nightcrawler from the X-Men Classics. And of course, if you look back here, that's Mojo the Builder figure, which is pretty cool. And then in a little bit more detail, you have a couple more of the X-Men uh, over here. So very, very cool. That's a Builder figure. Um, still working on that custom head. Uh, but like I said, it does take time. But these are some of the older X-Men, traditional X-Men. You have Forge there. You see Cable. He comes in a double box set. Uh, that Cable actually was a Walmart exclusive. And then, of course, um, Forge and Wolverine come in a double box set as well. And if you watch the episode on Forge, you'll be able to see that. This is my custom morph. Uh, yeah, say what you want, but like I said, they never dropped his figure. Uh, Morph was the one that was tampered with um, during the X-Men series, if you guys saw that. 
um, back in the day in the 90s. Morph was the one that was consistently having problems. Uh, so there you see him with his face looking like uh, he's confused. And of course, that Wolverine was always trying his best to, to fix those problems. Um, down here, we're looking at, of course, my Builder Figure Blob. This Builder Figure Blob, very, very cool. Um, very difficult to get now, but it is a cool, cool figure. Sorry about that. And looking over here, I have him, of course, with uh, Magneto. You see the Blob there. You see Mystique. Quicksilver, Pyro, uh, of course, Sabretooth, Juggernaut. Um, now, the Sabretooth and the Juggernaut that you're looking at here are from the Marvel Selects. The only reason I put them in that set, and so is the uh, Magneto, I believe. Um, the only reason I put them there, they're just a lot larger, and I wanted them to be a little bit more massive so they don't look so overpowered by the blob. Um, but this is my... Toy Biz Series 1 Toad. Uh, very hard to get. Um, and of course, I have him there on his base. But Toad is definitely a big part of that Magneto, uh, you know, back in the day, old school. So uh, just really, really cool to have. And then here you have a couple others. Um, one thing that I want to talk about, that Avalanche from the X-Men Classics. Is very very difficult to get now and if you can get your hands on it it's a little bit overpriced so just letting you guys know um, Avalanche is that guy right there just to get a better look and just another look at the massive juggernaut you see back there and saber tooth so very very cool this is just a little bit of a setup um, and then looking over here these are my uh, X-Men that are truly, truly old school, what I would call old school. Um, these are the all new X-Men, even though they say all new X-Men. This is the X-Men that we all know. Um, this is the old school beast. This is what I call the X-Men first class. And uh, of course you have their Iceman, you have uh, Cyclops, the beast, you have Archangel, and then you have right there, you have um, Jean Grey. So just really, really cool to have this setup, um, nice setup. And of course, I had to do it myself and add the traditional costume, uh, Deadpool, part of the X-Men. As you can tell there, it's official. He has the logo on the shirt. So that makes him official part old school X-Men. Um, and that's what you have there. Now, looking a little bit further down is my really, really cool um, Marvel Selects. Now, these Marvel Select X-Men, um, I just like the fact that they're just a lot bigger. Um, they have very, very good detail. If you're looking at here, this is uh, the dioramas. These come with these X-Men, and this is the Danger Room diorama. So, this diorama right here... If you're looking at, you see the old school Cyclops um, in a little bit of detail there. And then, of course, Gambit. Um, Gambit is, there is a variant to this Gambit uh, with the long hair, and I have that one as well. Of course, here you see the flaming cards. I have them there holding the staff. And then over here, a little bit more of the danger room. There you can see the fire. You see kind of like, I don't know if you guys can get it, but... So almost like a blade, like a cutting blade back there. And then you have, um, of course, Storm. You have Wolverine. You have Nightcrawler. And the very, very cool Colossus. Um, so that's something that I'm still forming part of that Danger Room. I do have Beast as well that has another part to that Danger Room. So that probably... Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that might be the last piece of the danger room um, that I have to build. But, of course, I'll get that done and hopefully I'll do an episode on that uh, cool danger room that you see uh, right there. So, this is just a little bit of more detail. There you have Nightcrawler. He does come with a cool base. And uh, most of them come with bases or part of the danger room diorama, uh, which is really, really cool. Um... 
Now, one thing that I wanted to show is a, is a couple of the figures that you see down here. Now, these are all Marvel Selects. Um, most of these, like Nightcrawler um, that you guys saw up there, I do have them in the box. Uh, this is the box set Nightcrawler, and he does come with that base. I just wanted to give you a better look at it. And then over here, you have... Uh, of course, that Cyclops that you were looking at with the interchangeable head there. Um, so you can change them and, you know, have them look more like Scott. Uh, you know, if you want that human version there. And then, of course, there's the Danger Room, which is really, really cool. So that's just a little bit of uh, that look. And then, of course, here you have Deadpool which is pretty cool, that, that's Deadpool right there. And that comes with a, a base. Um, one thing that I like about the Marvel Selects is that they all have bases. If you're looking at them here, they all have these bases, which are pretty cool, you know? And, and, and one thing that is uh, really cool about it is that most of them, they do have like that variant. Um, they do have like a double, like Cyclops, I know. Uh, has his variant where he has the traditional blue and white suit. So looking further down here, um, I want to just show you what you're looking at is a Caliban wave setup. Uh, I do have uh, another setup like that, uh, but this is Caliban the Builder figure, um, which was recently released and uh, just a really cool Builder figure to have. And then, of course, you have Skull Crusher there. And um, that rogue, hard to get, so is Cyclops. Uh, Cyclops is from the Warlock Builder figure, and Rogue is from the Juggernaut Builder figure, and so is that Wolverine from the Juggernaut Builder figure, which is really, really well done. That Wolverine uh, <clears throat> is a really, really well done Wolverine and extremely poseable. Uh, of course, you cannot go wrong with the Caliban Jubilee. This is from the Cab uh, Caliban uh, Builder Figure Wave. That Jubilee is amazing, and so is the Beast. The Beast is also from the Caliban Builder Figure Wave um, that you're looking at there. So this is just a little bit of a setup that you're looking at, and it is really, really, really cool. Um, they do have some interchangeable heads. Uh, Skull Crusher does come with an interchangeable head there. And, and Jubilee also comes with an interchangeable head, uh, one where she's blowing a bubblegum bubble, which is pretty cool. Then you have here some of my older um, X-Men figures uh, there. That's from the Face Off series. Uh, that Wolverine and that Sabretooth that you're looking at there is from the Face Off series. And then you're looking at a Sabretooth there that is from the X-Men Classics. And of course, that Wolverine is from a Toy Biz series with the motorcycle, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, sorry about that. This Wolverine that I put in the center there, that's also from the Caliban Wave. That is a new, uh, that is the Weapon X Wolverine that you're looking at. And he does come with an interchangeable head, which is really, really cool. And then of course you have Toy Biz Rogue, and there you have a Toy Biz uh, Cyclops, which is really, really cool. And there's also variants to this uh, Toy Biz Cyclops. Now, going a little bit further up, you have here the uh, Blackbird, and very, very well done. This is, uh, to me, one of my better uh, setups, of course, here. You have there the Shadow King. Shadow King uh, was known for getting in the mind of Dr. Charles Xavier and also known for uh, having his uh, battle with Storm uh, until the X-Men came to save Storm. Uh, yeah, he was mind-controlling Storm if you were watching the uh, 1990s cartoons. Uh, that is the Storm there with a very cool look. And then, of course, the Shadow King. And here, um, you have Multiple Man, who is really, really cool. 
Um, if you do have multiple men and you want to do a really nice setup, I suggest getting maybe more than just one, maybe two or three, just so it could look like he's multiplying. Um, and then this beast um, is from the X-Men Classics. And of course, there you have Gladiator. Um, and you have there... Of course uh, Wolverine and you have the builder figure there um, that you're looking at that's the builder figure apocalypse and that over there comes in a box set uh, with interchangeable heads that's Archangel I did an episode on him so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on him and it's just really really a good look um, I think that since Archangel was used by Apocalypse, I put those two guys against a couple of the X-Men here with the exception of Gladiator. Um, but just a really, really uh, nice touch to that. And of course, you know, you can't forget Cable. Uh, definitely Cable is in, caught up in that whole Apocalypse era. So just really, really cool. And of course, going back up here, this is more of uh, just a small setup, not a battle scene per se, but just a couple of my uh, X different X-Men. Uh, of course, I have Sasquatch there, and he comes from the Deadpool uh, set. And of course, you have Deadpool there, you have X-23, you have the Wolverine that you're looking at there, and I believe that Wolverine is from Epic Heroes. Um, and then Deadpool there, traditional Deadpool, gray outfit, gray and black, Domino, there you have another Cable, here you have Kitty Pride. and Cyclops, I, I like to put Kitty Pride next to Cyclops since, you know, they kind of had a thing for each other, and then if you're looking there, back there, that's my Toy Biz Weapon X. You can't forget about that Toy Biz Weapon X because uh, honestly, um, he does come in a really cool base, which is the water tank um, that you know Wolverine was experimented on. So definitely can't forget that. And then if you look here in the middle, if you're looking, uh, you can see that it's a little bit of that X Force. You have Domino Cable, right, and Shatterstar back there. So just a really, really cool look. If you're looking back there, you even have a Magneto um, back there. And of course, uh, Deathlock, which is uh, part of that Sasquatch builder figure So going further up, a little bit more of my X-Men. There you have Iceman. Uh, that's from Toy Biz. And here you have, uh, that's from the Juggernaut builder figure um, and that's that's Jean Grey, and as the, with the Phoenix outfit, of course. And then here you have the Jim Lee um, that we all know, Cyclops. Um, you have the Toy Biz um, Gambit. Back here is um, I believe he's Marvel Select. That's a Marvel Select Colossus that you're looking at, and um, not to get him mistaken with the Marvel Legends. And then, of course, my builder figure, Apocalypse, that you're looking at there. And that's my uh, Savage Land box set. Um, I did an episode on that, so you guys can check it out. Of course, um, from the Savage Land, you have there a couple of the builder figures that you're looking at. Um, and then you have Wolverine, Havoc. Another Storm, that is from the X-Men Classics. That is a variant Wolverine in a traditional, uh, what we call the traditional army there attire, uh, fighting against Omega Red. And then that's X-23 in the Wolverine outfit. And of course, Bishop over there. And that's from the X-Men Classics. That's another Archangel from X-Men Classics. And just a really, really cool setup, Sabretooth there. Now, going a little bit further up. 
here you'll see a little bit more of my sentinels but these sentinels are different from the builder figures um, these are not builder figure sentinels these are from the um, Marvel Universe Marvel Universe decided to drop these sentinels a while back um, which are really cool because they um, do have sound so they do talk and you know and they sex they say a couple of things how they are gonna exterminate the x-men and so forth so just really really cool um and that's that's from the sentinel series of uh marvel universe and then here you see a couple more of my x-men um you're probably wondering wow that's a lot of x-men but uh you know i have different setups so yeah of course another toy biz gambit um, this Wolverine is from the Red Hulk Builder figure, and it's probably one of my favorite Wolverines um, that you're looking at there. And then, of course, you have another Iceman. That's actually a new Iceman on the old Toy Biz base that you're looking at. And then, of course, my Deadpool comes with Warpath. He comes in a double box set with Warpath, um, and that's the Deadpool that you're looking at there. And then, of course, you have another Cyclops there from the um, Warlock Builder figure. And then, of course, Jean Grey with Cyclops there. And this is from the uh, X-Men Classics. What you're looking at here is a X-Men Classics Colossus. And then over here... Cannonball, he comes in a double box set as well. And there you have the Warlock Builder figure, which is pretty cool. So just a better look at those figures. And then of course the Sentinels. I'll just go a little bit around so you can get a better look at all those Sentinels there. Okay, so now getting into a couple of my uh, figures. This is more of my uh, figures of of what I would like to say Wolverine and Deadpool. There you have a couple of the different Deadpools. Um, and those are the 12-inch Deadpools that you're looking at. That's the X-Force Deadpool over there. Of course, there you have the traditional Deadpool. And then here you have the Ultimate Deadpool, which is probably one of my favorites. The Ultimate Deadpool looks really cool. I like that black outfit that he's wearing with that red. So it looks really, really cool. And then you have here from Epic Heroes, you have uh, Dakin. That is from the, that's the son of uh, Wolverine. And then of course, from the X-Men Classics, you have another variant Wolverine there. There you have X-23. And just a couple other figures there. Um, of course, Deadpool and a couple other red variants of Wolverine. And that's Wolverine there, the Weapon X Wolverine that you saw in that box set. Um, now going a little bit further down. Here you have a, a couple more. This is a really, really cool setup. Um, this is one of my newer setups that I did. Um, and this is from, that Sentinel actually is done by Marvel Legends. Um, he comes in a box set with Wolverine. So um, that's a really, really cool um, Sentinel. And then very quickly, just like the, the universe, the Marvel Universe Sentinels, they do talk. So. So that's pretty cool. And then here you have Rogue. Um, I have a couple of those. That's from the um, Juggernaut Builder figure. And then what you're looking at here is one of my favorite um, Deadpools there. And that's from the, um, if I'm not mistaken, from the Sasquatch Builder figure. And just really, really cool. Um, I put him with guns. I know he has his swords in the back, but I just wanted to see him with a couple of guns there. And um, and then looking further down, you have Storm from 
that storm is actually from Toy Biz. And then you have the brand new uh, Psylocke there. You have Blink. You have Iceman. That's from the X-Men Classics. You have another Wolverine. That's from the Apocalypse Builder figure, that Wolverine there. You have a Colossus also from X-Men Classics. Um, and this Colossus and the other Colossus, the, the only difference is the metal. Um, they're very similar in scale, but the actual metal, one is darker. Um, the metal is darker and the other one, it's a little bit lighter, uh, lighter metal. Uh, so very, very cool. And then you have the brand new Forge from the Caliban series, what you're looking at there. That's just a little bit of a setup of these guys going up against that massive sentinel that you're looking at there. And then you see Bishop there. You see the new uh, Professor X. He comes in a big box set. Um, and that's a really, really cool old school Jim Lee Professor X that you're looking at. And of course, that's my builder figure, Jubilee. That is the new Gambit. Uh, from the Caliban Wave. That's not Toy Biz. That's done uh, by Hasbro, and that's from the Caliban Wave. And then here, of course, you have Jean Grey, which is really cool. Um, going further down is my Nemesis Builder figure, which is really cool. And then further down here, uh, you guys are looking at a very difficult Cyclops to get now. Um, and that also is pretty, pretty cool. That comes... That's part of the Jubilee Builder Figure uh, wave. So that Cyclops comes in the Jubilee Builder Figure wave. And then you have Magic there um, over here. That's also Storm. That Storm that you're looking at there in that outfit is also from the Jubilee Builder Figure wave. And there you have Magneto back there. And these three guys right here that you're looking at, um, you're looking at their Cyclops, Wolverine, and um, Sabretooth. Those guys actually are from the Puck build the figure wave. Um, they actually build the figure Puck, and they also come with uh, Emma Frost. So really, really cool. And there you see, um, that's from, I believe, the Blob Builder figure. That Wolverine comes from the Blob Builder figure wave. And that Cyclops is a variant Cyclops. Um, remember I told you guys that there's, uh, Toy Biz did a couple of different Cyclopses. That's another Cyclops there that you're looking at. And that's the old school Kitty Pride. And then you have Banshee back there. Also done by Hasbro. And a couple of my Toy Biz Builder figures that you have, uh, Angel. A lot of you guys know him as Archangel, of course. Uh, Angel was what he started as, and then when uh, he got experimented on by Apocalypse, they called him the Archangel. There you have the Dazzler that you're looking at back there. That's Dazzler. She's old school X-Men. And um, going a little bit further down... You see a little bit more of my setup. This is more of the Toy Biz X-Men that you're looking at here. These Toy Biz X-Men, very, very cool. Um, if you're looking at this, uh, this is from the X-Men Classics, uh, that Cyclops. However, um, Rogue is from Toy Biz, and so is that Wolverine that's done by Toy Biz as well. And then, of course, back there... Uh, Phoenix, she's also done by Toy Biz, and she comes with that base of the Phoenix. So, very, very cool. Very hard to get cable. This is the variant cable. Uh, he comes in that brown, a uh, little bit more of that darker look to cable. Still comes with that really cool base there with the guns. Um, and it's just uh, a cool cable. He is a variant, so he's definitely going to be a little bit more overpriced. Um, than the other cable um, but yeah there you have cable of course domino and then of here you have wolverine and the band um, these are the guys that uh, obviously are going to try to kill wolverine most of the time but you have lady death strike with those long nails and hands 
Um, and then, of course, Omega Red, who has had a lot of uh, run-ins with Wolverine and Deadpool, of course. So just really, really cool. Um, that's just a bit of a setup there that you're looking at. And, um, of course, Lady Deathstrike and Omega Red are from the Toy Biz series. Um, this one is from Epic Heroes. That Deadpool that you're looking at is from Epic Heroes. And uh, that Wolverine is from the X-Men Classics. So, yeah. Um, I'm telling you guys, the X-Men Classics is where it's at. Um, if, especially if you want to get a different look to the Wolverine or Beast or or Cyclops, and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, then here, what you're looking at is a little bit more of my older X-Men. There you have, of course, the Magneto and the crew, Havoc. You have a very cool Sabretooth back there. You're looking at the Toy Biz Juggernaut. I'm sorry that the lighting is not so good back there, but... It is um, the old school Toy Biz Juggernaut. And then Mystique. Um, that's from the X-Men Classics. That's another Juggernaut that I have there. And then, of course, Quicksilver. Um, you have Toy Biz Wolverine there. Um, and that's the Wolverine that was actually missing a hand. I don't know if you guys remember that comic book series, but it's a really cool one. Um, and then, of course, more of the variants. Um, that's a saber tooth that I made. That's a custom saber tooth. And of course, more of the X Men classics Wolverine there that you're looking at. Those are X Men classics. That's that ninja look to Wolverine. And then, of course, there you have Toy Biz saber tooth, Mystique, and of course, the very cool variant um, that they did. Uh, Toy Biz did this variant of. Uh, Phoenix, which um, was pretty cool. Of course, now, um, if you can get your hands on the Hasbro Phoenix, it's, it's really cool as well. And uh, just to show you, I do have more of the Marvel Selects down there that you're looking at. Of course, Wolverine, Colossus, Storm, um, Juggernaut. The Juggernaut is so massive. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys real quick. Uh, Juggernaut as a builder figure uh, is is big, but looking at this one, it's just so massive. What you're seeing there, that's the Juggernaut. Really, really cool. And he's just so big in size and scale. So I just want to show you a quick look of that Juggernaut. So, yeah. So, um... That's just another look at, at a couple of these Marvel Selects because if you do want to mix them up, you can. And it just is a really, really cool look. Um, now getting into a couple more of my X-Men up here. Sorry about that. Um, this is a couple of the Marvel Legends. These are the 12-inch X-Men and they were really cool to get. These are the 12-inch uh, X-Men that you're looking at there. And uh, one of my favorites, of course, is going to be Wolverine. But uh, there you have Colossus and Cyclops. And then, of course, here you have more of my X-Men that we're looking at here. Sorry about that. Uh, more of my X-Men. That's a Warpath. That Warpath comes in a double box set. Um, and that's a Toys R Us exclusive. That Warpath is a variant, of course. Um, but I, I will show you the the regular Warpath, but the variant is very cool. So there you have them with a couple of my X-Men in those uh, silver and black outfits that you're looking at there. And uh, that's from the X-Men Classics, that um, Gambit. And then, of course, a couple more of my different uh, Wolverines. And X-23 from uh, Toy Biz. Then going further down... There you have, I'm so sorry about that, this lighting is crazy. Uh, but, of course, you have there um, the Magneto. And, uh, of course, you have another Sentinel here. And then going further down, oh, by the way, that's a Nightcrawler that you're looking at there. I'll just give you a better look, that's Nightcrawler. And then further down, um, here you're looking at a Wolverine. That Wolverine is really really cool he does come in um 
that whole setup with uh, a couple of my other uh, Wolverines, but that Wolverine is actually from the box set and the Jubilee Builder figure, so it's really, really cool. I do have, um, I like this one because he's unmasked, and then he looks very similar in scale to the Jubilee Builder figure Wolverine. Here you have Bobby Drake. This is from the X-Men Classics. Um, he's a bit overpriced now, um, but of course they did a great job with giving him the old school traditional uh, Iceman outfit that you're looking at there. And then of course you have Magneto. That's a Magneto there. That's the Magneto um, from the Jubilee Builder figure. That Magneto was done really well. Um, and sculpted really well as well. Um, Emma Frost. Sabretooth. This is a Walgreens exclusive. Uh, Mystique. And there you have my Build-A-Figure Juggernaut. Which is amazing. Um, and then a couple more. This is, a, this is actually a custom figure I did on Jubilee. I did have another head sculpt. So I just want... I put on the X-23 outfit... Um, and I gave her that trench coat that you see there, which is pretty cool. Um, and then you're looking at another cable there, which is a Toy Biz cable. And, and long shot there. And of course, like I said, going a little bit further down, you'll see a lot more of my X-Men. That back there is the um, Puck series that I was talking about, the Puck Builder Figure series which um, that's my Emma Frost. I only have one of those. So I made sure I kept her in the box and then I have Wolverine and I have their um, Cyclops. So going further down, there you have a couple more of the very cool uh, Hasbro figures. These figures um, from Hasbro are just really, really well done. Sunfire, there you have Colossus and he does come with an interchangeable head. Um, and then, of course, you can see their Iceman in the back. That's from the X-Men Classics. This right here is from Hasbro, that Phoenix. And so is Cannonball. And here is the Warpath. This is the actual colors to Warpath. Of course, I showed you the variant that was up there. But this is the Warpath that you're looking at here that also comes in a double box set with... Um, Deadpool, so just really, really cool. That is a custom domino that you're looking at there. And of course, I had to have Warpath with Domino. And uh, of course, Shatterstar. That Mystique is from uh, Epic Heroes. And she was well done. And another Builder figure Warlock there. And then of course, you have here Hope. Summers, which is um, Cyclops' daughter. And then, of course, you have to have Strife fighting Cable. I mean, those are epic battles that you're looking at there. And then going further down, this is what I'm talking about as far as the X-Men classics. Um, these are just different types of the X-Men classics that we're looking at here. Uh, there, you're looking at, um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that's from the X-Men uh, New Dimensions, um, and that is Rogue, um, which, which she has that outfit. And then, of course, you have Gambit in a very cool outfit, Beast, Cyclops, um, that X-23, sorry about that, she's in there, but... Um, that was done by Toy Biz. These are X-Men Classics, mainly. Another Wolverine. There you have X-Men Classics uh, Juggernaut. Looks like a football player, but very, very cool. And then another X-Men Classics that you're looking at there, Cyclops. Magneto. And, of course, Archangel or Angel. Um, and then further down here is the movie version of the X-Men. Those of you that watch the old school X-Men movies, um, of course, you have Magneto there, Toad, Sabretooth, Mystique. Um, there you have Jean Grey, 
um, Juggernaut, and then, of course, uh, Wolverine. That is Iceman that you're looking at there. And the Wolverine, Rogue, Jean Grey, another Rogue over there in the corner. Uh, that Beast is done by Hasbro. Uh, I just put him there because he does look like the Beast from the movie, which is really cool. And then also that Cyclops is done by Hasbro, but um, that's the movie version Cyclops, so I definitely put him in there. And you have Nightcrawler and just another uh, Cyclops that you're looking at there. So this is just a little bit of a setup from the movie, the X-Men. Um, and then further down, just a bunch of my Marvel Selects that you're looking at there. Um, cable. Just a really cool Marvel Select to get. Uh, and I'll show you guys that. Uh, that's my cable there that you're looking at. And he's just really, really cool. And, uh, of course, um, that's the Marvel Select there. Uh, Magneto. And the Marvel Select uh, Gambit. So, um, this is definitely... A little bit of my setup and I just wanted to show you guys um, what that looks like and hopefully you guys have some ideas of how you want to create your setups but yep this is my ultimate X-Men collection and hopefully um, some of this stuff might be able to help you guys out with your collection but yep uh, my X-Men collection is one of my larger collections, aside from my Spider-Man collection, um, which I also have that's pretty awesome. Um, so, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please subscribe. Hit that bell for the next notification. And definitely hit us with a like. I'm G-Infinite. Peace out, YouTube.